Today we're going to revisit some word problems that we saw in Module 1 at the beginning of the year. First, let's look at our steps. So whenever we start off, we're going to say, okay, a car travels 439 and a quarter miles in four and a half hours. What is the unit rate in miles per hour? Unit rate should look familiar. That and constant of proportionality is what we worked at at the beginning of the year. But even if you don't remember that, we can still go through our steps. So the first thing, I've got my little car and it's driving along. Now I'm going to circle my quantities. So 439 and a quarter, four and a half hours with their units. I'm going to underline relationship words. The most important relationship word um, that is new in this lesson is this word per or similarly for every one. So right here I see this word per. That word means division. And when I go to label my drawing, I'm going to use a particular language structure that tells me that this is going to be y and this is going to be x. This is always the case. y per x, anytime we see this word per. So here, if you remember from the beginning of the year, I've got my table. My y is miles. My x is hours. And I have these numbers right up here. So 439 and a quarter miles and four and a half hours. Now when I set this up, I'm going to write my expression. So this is 439 and a quarter miles divided by four and a half hours. This part right here, this part right here, this is what we did at the beginning of the year. It's just now we have more clarity when we look for this construction of words. It tells us y and it tells us x on either side of the per. But dividing these fractions is something that's quite challenging for people. I encourage you to try to do it by hand. But for today, today's objective is to be able to do this using a calculator. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn these into things that I can punch into this calculator. So uh, 439 is a number that we can do, we use with a calculator. Um, but I can't put fractions in this very easily. I need decimals. So I need to change this 1 fourth to a decimal. So all I do is I do 1 divided by 4. Well, first I turn it on. And then I do 1 divided by 4. And that gives me 0 0.25. So 439.25. Five. Four and a half, similarly, I've got my four. I turn the fraction into a decimal. One divided by two gives me 0.5. Now, this I can do in the calculator. 439.25 divided by 4.5. That one repeats forever, so I'm going to draw the bar over it. And my units are miles per hour. So that means the car travels 97.61 repeating miles per hour. And that's what there is to it. So with this same idea, down here we've got Angelica. And she is buying some candy. So let's say here are some lollipops that are coming to her. And she is paying money. So we look through here and we look at our um, quantities. So she paid $3.75 for two and three-fifths pounds of candy. We want to know what is the constant of proportionality in dollars per pound. So even if I don't remember what constant of proportionality is, this dollars per pound should uh, cue me in. This is y, this is x. So when I label this, here's dollars, here's pounds. 
So 3, 75, 2 and 3 fifths get labeled there. And then this per means division. So we're going to do 3, 75 divided by 2 and 3 fifths pounds. Again, I want to put those as decimals so that I can use the calculator. So here I have 2, 3 divided by 5 is 0 0.6. And when I divide those, I get this big long decimal. One point four four. Since this is in dollars, um, I'm just going to stop there. It's a dollar forty four per pound. So the constant of proportionality is $1.44 per pound. That same structure with just a little bit of a variation we sometimes see with this wording. So here we've got um, 36 cookies needed 2 and 3 quarters cups of flour to make. So with my drawing I've got a cookie sheet And then if I see my quantities, I've got 36 cookies, 2 and 3 quarters cups of flour. How much flour is needed for one cookie? That is this structure that we saw up here, for every one. So how much flour is needed for one cookie? This is going to tell me how much flour is Y, cookie is X. So when I set this up, this is flour, cookie, so 36, 2 and 3 quarters. So when I set up my division, it's always y divided by x. So 2 and 3 quarters cups divided by 36 cookies. So I've got 2, 3 divided by 4 is 0.75. divided by 36 so 0 0.076 it's never wrong if you write the whole thing unless it specifies so I might as well write out the whole thing um, and that is cups of flour per cookie you would need and there we go